Ray's Repair Zone. Today we're going to be uh, checking out this Hotel Maxi Link ML629. Just got it in the, in the mail. And uh, hopefully it's going to work. I need uh, a scanner that's going to uh, do the ABS SRS systems. Anyway, this is the first time I'm just opening it up now. Let's see what we get. It doesn't look like much. Looks like we got a nice little, uh, ooh, nice little uh, case here. Looks like it's pretty good. And then. All you get in the box. And we'll do some testing. Uh, I've got a. Well, it's quite thick too. I didn't realize it was going to be that that thick. All right. We got a Chevy Impala is having some ABS problems. Okay. We're doing this all one-handedly here. It's kind of a chore, but we we'll get it. Okay, we got the reference guide, user manual. We got some connections on this other side. Okay, that's a USB. Probably for doing the updates or whatever. And this is the connector for the OBD2 system to plug it into the car. Oh, good. Quite a long cable, too, so we don't have to worry about that. Awesome. What we'll do is we'll. Uh, get it hooked up to a car here in a bit. I was quite surprised to see that it's got the SanDisk uh, micro SD card included. It's a uh, eight gigabyte. So that's a bonus. A little more information that was on the box. SD card on the back of the or on the bottom of the scanner it's kind of a little puny thing to get at it's kind of hard to get the SD card in and out I guess going in isn't bad but taking it out is kind of a probably almost used have to use tweezers anyway we'll get scanning here soon okay what I did is I Got it in a F350 2001 with a 7.3 liter diesel. Uh, I plugged it in, OBD2 port. Right away the screen came on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan it now. Um, I'm not really sure how to use this thing. I didn't even read the thing, but I'll go OK. And I guess we'll go to USA and forward. And it'll check out what's going on, I guess. Vehicle selection. Okay, go through all the... Oh, what the hell. Aerostar. Super 
for duty, okay. Well, it's not showing me my rear engine. Let me go escape. What I might have to do is I might have to go and uh, update this sucker here. Some of these here I don't even recognize. I think it's showing all the... Okay, we're going to go start a new session. Maybe I should turn the key on. Maybe that'll work. Okay, now it's telling me 7.3 and all that stuff. Yes, it's correct. Yes, this must be yes here. Control unit. Okay, we've got ABS or, yeah, I think we'll go to ABS. The ABS light is on. Codes. Battery voltage out of range. Hmm. Okay, now what do I do here? I don't need to save it. I'd like to just erase that sucker. There we go. Erase codes. Ignition on and engine off. Yes. Yeah, sure. Try the power train. Key on, engine off. Seems like a lot of stuff here, so. I think it's gonna be a awesome tool. Key on, engine on. Retrieve continuous memory diagnostic trouble codes. See what happens there. Oh. I think I want to check the injectors. Key on, engine off. Okay. Sounds like it's working on the injectors now. I can hear them popping away. Right on. 
on that pass for the injectors. What else we got here? Glow plug monitoring self deck key on, engine on. Okay, just have to make sure. Output state self test. We'll try that, see what that does. see what the following conditions are met. Yeah. Looks like there's quite a few options here. I could check out quite a few things. We could have a video an hour long by the looks of it. I think it's going to be a good tool. Very good. I'm happy with it. Well, this is my fast video of the Maxi Link 629. I'm hoping you're liking this video. And thank you for watching. See you again.